Okay, so um, at CASA, obviously, we don't work in a, in a vacuum. We work with a, a lot of other um, significant uh, organisations to deliver road safety outcomes in South Australia. And uh, we have a long history of, of collaborating on, on research with um, South Australia Police, but also working with them in other ways to deliver uh, road safety outcomes for our state. Uh, so for the next talk, I'd like to invite uh, forward Assistant Commissioner Ian Parrott from uh, SA Police. Thank you. Uh, thanks very much and thanks Jeremy uh, for the invitation to um, say a short uh, couple of words this evening. Um, from a policing perspective, uh, we are obviously like you searching for the answers, um, the silver bullet that's going to make the main difference in terms of the step, next step change as to how we're going to prevent people losing their lives and indeed um, incurring serious injuries on South Australian roads every single year. I think some of the frustrating part of that is, is that um, last year was, a, I think, the lowest lives lost on record uh, in South Australia, 71 lives lost, which is still far too many. I mean, as the Minister pointed out uh, so nicely for us this, this evening, there's 59 lives lost already this year, the most horrific start to a year in you know, well over a decade or more. 59 families affected, 59 communities affected. Um, the ripple effects are just never-ending when it comes to road trauma. When you add to that, at the current state, there's over 427 people who've incurred serious injuries on South Australian roads this year. Again, about 100 or more greater than what we experienced last year. Our ability as a policing organisation to continue and engage in both an education uh, uh, um, function, but also an enforcement function to play our part in keeping people safe on our roads uh, is ever more important. Part of that um, ability to be able to do that is the invaluable research that ACASA has done over many years and continues to do to help inform us about what those education strategies might be that can assist us to reach people in a more effective way. But they're also about what enforcement uh, techniques and what, um, what, what information, what rhetoric supports those enforcement techniques that is also going to re um, resonate with people so that hopefully they, more people make better choices on our roads and that hopefully that leads to you know, lowering the number of lives lost and serious injuries on our roads. A couple of quick examples which um, you know, are very relevant at the moment is that um, we talk about Fatal 5 in terms of their contributing factors to road trauma. Uh, dangerous driving is actually the leading contribution of lives lost on our roads so far this year. We hear about distraction quite regularly in terms of that being a leading cause. And we, we always gravitate towards the use of mobile phones, but um, there is also uh, other elements such as um, not concentrating when you're driving, uh, you know, being distracted by kids or other things inside the vehicle, which you know, we need to unpack further. And part of the research around that is, is critically important in terms of how do we actually change those behaviours. If I focus back on the mobile phone issue, um, we are currently developing up a mobile phone detection camera capability for the state in partnership with our friends at DIT. And the research um, that CASA has provided us as part of that, developing that capability and how we can best be effective in delivering that enforcement but also that education message to try and keep people safe has been a really important part of how we assess where cameras are going to be placed, how they're best placed to be used, to have the biggest impact, to try and reduce the what is effectively a habit of people that just develop to instantly reach their phones every time it buzzes. And for our younger generation, for those of you who've got younger generation in your household, we know how many times that phone buzzes every single evening. Also, um, we're really excited to uh, learn about the research that CASA are currently doing, um, which um, helps to inform us, but also um, the Road User Safety Advisory Committee, which uh, myself and Dit and others uh, sit on, um, around fatigue because there is a real issue uh, uh, with lives lost and serious injury on our regional areas. Bless you. We, um, we know that between 60 and 70 per cent of lives lost occur on regional roads every single year, and they have for quite a number of years. We often defer to distraction. As part of that, we often um, realise that speeding is a contributing factor, but the role that fatigue plays in lives lost on country roads is something that really needs to be unpacked a little bit more so that once again we can learn from that research and we can start to target, better target our enforcement campaigns and our education campaigns so that we can hopefully 
lower the lives lost on regional roads in particular. So with that, um, I would just like to congratulate CASA on 50 years of some outstanding, well, more than 50 years, Jeremy, um, of outstanding research uh, in the road safety space. Um, we certainly have benefited uh, from the research that your organisation has provided over the years and look forward to working with you in the future as well. Thank you. Thank you, Assistant Commissioner.